All right, now we're gonna go through sideline windmill, helping again with some shoulder work, helping work on that thoracic rotation and just shoulder movement in general. So you're gonna come onto your side, top knee is gonna come over, and you're gonna tack it down to the floor. So that knee should not move, knee and foot should not move off the floor for the entire time you're doing. Hands start stacked about shoulder height. So you're gonna start reaching slightly forward with the top hand. Then, you're gonna reach up like you're trying to arc that arm, thumb behind you. Once you can't reach any higher with the arm straight, that's your ending point. You're gonna turn the palm over and keep rotating that hand, bringing that circle all the way back around. So again, we start here, we reach, thumbs up, we rotate, arm is straight. Once I can't reach any further this way without bending the arm, I rotate, the hand and keep rotating all the way back around. So important part here, us bending the elbow is just compensating for the shoulder. So I don't want you to bend the elbow. Depending on your shoulder mobility, so my circle is here. If I was someone that didn't have as good of shoulder mobility, my circle might have to be a lot smaller. And that's okay. Find whatever circle you can trace while keeping that arm straight. And one other important point on this one, I was looking at the camera so that, you know, I, while I was talking, but what I really want you to focus on is following that hand with the eyes for the entirety of that rotation. Because the shoulders always need to move and the head needs to move along with it. If we leave the head behind and the shoulders drop, that can create strain in the neck and it also doesn't allow us to get true mobility through the upper back.